It's Dion Dean back with another thrift haul. Now, you guys saw me last week all up and in these Miami streets. And so what I like to do is when I know that I'm going to be at an event, I check out what stores are in the area. And I like to kind of do like a batch shopping tri shopping trip because I live in Fort Lauderdale. Most of, And that's the thing. Most of my friends and most of the events that I go to are in Miami. So I make the most of being down there because sometimes with this I-95 traffic, it can be an hour, hour and a half, sometimes two hour long trip if I'm going deep into Dade. And so if I'm going to be down there, I want to make sure that I do as much as I can in the time that I have. And so I'm going to be showing you items that I got from the Goodwill Calle Ocho and the Goodwill in Alapata. Now, I know you guys saw that Goodwill Outlet video. I'm telling you, I'm still shook. <laughs> but the great thing about that location, which is why I can kind of grin and bear it for a little bit, you have the Goodwill Outlet on one side and then you have a Goodwill Superstore. They're both connected to each other. It's the Goodwill Headquarters in Alapata, which is like right on the, right next to or, or bordering Hialeah. And so I was like, you know what? The bins are not doing it for me, so I'm going next door to the store. So here's some things that I purchased. Um, the Goodwill Cayocho store, um, I think I talked about this in the video, but it's right there in Little Havana. Um, there's a lot of vintage there. I didn't get a chance to see as much as I wanted to see because I had had to head back up north. Um, but this, these are the, and these, are, I think these are all kind of mixed up. So once I pull them out, I'll tell you where, which is, which piece is from which store, okay? To make it easier on you. All right. So this piece was from the, I'm going to say Goodwill. When I say Goodwill headquarters, you know, it's Alapad, okay? So this piece was from the outlet. And so I know you're like, Dion, what the heck are you doing with this yellow polka dot foolishness? Well, you guys know I love to pattern mix. I'm, I'm going to see if there's something in my closet that I can pattern mix this with so that you can get a, kind of get the feel of, of what I'm wanting to do. But a lot of times, if I see a pattern or a print and it's in my size and I'm really feeling it, I'll just go ahead and get it and keep it to the side. There are pieces in my closet that I bought two or three years ago that I'm just waiting for the right mix, honey, the right outfit to kind of tie it to. And so this was one of those pieces. This was only $3. And so I got this. And when I find the perfect yellow stripe or yellow print to go with it, then I will wear it. Follow me on Instagram at imdondean because that's where I'm going to take the picture of it. Um, or if I see something in my closet, I'll do a try on video so that try on video so that you can see how I do what I do. So this was also from the Goodwill headquarters. Now I have a love hate relationship with Gucci, and this was before all of the foolishness that they got themselves into earlier this year. So my thing with Gucci, and I, I and this is the thing. I adore the vision of Alejandro Michele, Alejandro Michele, who is the creative director of Gucci. But every time I see a Gucci ad, every time I see the runway show, I'm like, listen, we all know <laughs> any good thrifter could put that runway show together. That is all vintage. It's all like, it's, it's all 60s, 70s, like London, Brixton, Harlem, like, come on now. It's not, you know. That's not original. <laughs> it is original for Gucci though. So I love the creativity that he's brought to the brand, brought to the brand. And if you guys remember, if you follow me on Instagram, when I was in New York and, um, gosh, I swear this year's gone so quickly. When was I in New York? March, April, I went to the Gucci store in Soho. I didn't film it for you guys because I was with my students and I didn't have time to be Dion Dean and Professor Dean. Next time I go there, I'll definitely take a, take some footage. But I put it on my Instagram. There were these shoes that looked like they came straight out, straight out the thrift store. And they were like $2,000. And I was like, oh, this is ridiculous. So I say all that to say, I saw this sweater and this was so, <laughs> I can see Gucci remaking this and being like $5,000. But no, darlings, this was, this another price. I think it was $5. I think it was $5. But this is a Gucci sweater, not Gucci, look at me, <laughs> calling it into existence. This is a vintage sweater dress, plus size, darling. Is it plus size? It's a medium, but on me, it's going to be plus size. Because you know, if it has stretch, it's plus size. All right, so this is a medium, this is a medium uh, sweater dress. Yeah, I know you're like Dion. Please, 
enough with the sweaters shut up okay shut up you and my husband you and my husband need to just leave me alone i just i will save this and wear it to chicago in the fall and be fabulous i don't know what kind of boots i would wear with it though i feel like i would need some stretch boots like you can't just wear this i feel like i need a gold pump i feel like that's the only thing that's gonna do this justice I need to watch some old footage, some old um, Dynasty episodes on YouTube or something. Because this is Alexis Carrington. I need to eat some white pumps. Something. I don't know how I'm going to wear it yet. But I just, I couldn't resist it. I'm so in love with, um, I'm so in love with, with, with vintage and like the fact that I'm not going to see that anywhere. And it's so of the moment, right? All right. So the next piece is, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, this is. Be shopping. I don't even know what I'm getting. So this is another, this is Romans. This is a size 24 and it's kind of like a voluminous blouse, but it's kind of croppish. Like it's, it's like a trapeze top. And so what I want to do with this, I actually have a who, what, wear top that, <laughs> excuse me, the same color scheme. And what I want to do is I want to wear this with green pants. Do I have anything green? I have to show you. So I want to wear this with like some green pants. I have not found the right shade of green, but I want to wear this with a pair of green pants or a pair of pink pants. Oh, I'm going to try this on with a pair of pink pants in a minute. Yes. So you can get the vision. This pink pants. So I'm going to put that over there. <laughs> you guys are going to laugh at me. You guys are going to totally laugh at me. So I got these. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Lord, where's the other shoe? So I go, oh, here it is. So I got these blue Steve Madden pumps. So, you know, I don't, I'm glutton for punishment. I don't even know why I talked to my, and maybe I need to do a video with him on here. He's not, he's not really big into social media. Um, he's not big into Riley being on social media either. So what I, I, I would love to, not love to, because I'm not big on her being on social media. I would put her in a, in, you know, a video once in a while. My husband's like, not my daughter. He's not, he's just not that dude. So <laughs> I say that to say, I get all excited and I'm like, oh my God, baby, look at these blue shoes. I got, they're so pretty. My husband's like, Dion, you already have blue shoes. And I'm like, no, these are like the perfect blue. Steve Madden, they're on camera, they look purple though. But these are world blue. These are so bad. I don't have anything in my closet. Da -da -da -da. Dion, bet you, you have those. Like you have blue shoes. I ain't got no blue shoes. You need to. Da -da 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 -da. So I go into the my little shoe area back here. <laughs> oh, I was, going, I was shouting down my husband. You hear me? I ain't got no blue shoes. You know what you're talking about. You just don't want me to thrift. They were only $6. And you know I had to get all in his guts, right? Ain't nobody talking about you when you go to Best Buy and you want to spend hundreds of dollars. Meanwhile, I can't buy $6 shoes. I went in. You hear me? Like a wife can. <sighs> I went in there. I saw these. I was like, oh, baby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say all that to you. That wasn't nice. <laughs> So yeah, I'm a hoarder. It is what it is, okay? It is what it is. So I got these from Goodwill. These were six bucks. I got these like a year ago. Same Steve, this one's Steve Madden. This one's Steve Madden. I can't help it. Steve Madden makes a good heel. They make a good heel. And if you get them a half a size bigger, because let me say, Steve Madden, your size is gonna hurt your foot. But if you get them like a half a size, um, larger, they really are some great shoes. <sighs> I shouted him down, y'all. I was like, babe, don't tell me what I have in my closet. I don't have any blue shoes. God bless my husband. God bless him. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> My next shoe are these. Now, here's the thing. They had these in this color and the cream color. And I was like, oh my gosh, six bucks. I can get both. But I really didn't need both, right? Just like I didn't need both of these blue shoes. 
I didn't need both. So I put the cream ones down and just got these. These were $6. And you guys know, well, if you don't know, I love a wraparound shoe. My legs are one of my best assets. And so whenever you wear something that's wraparound, it kind of accentuates the leg, the length of your leg. And so I got these. And I don't know, for you guys that are shopping down here in South Florida, I don't know if you've noticed this. Um, I don't know if they do this in West Palm or Broward, but they started putting barcodes on the shoes. So it's no longer... Um, it's no longer this. They're not writing on the shoe anymore. They're now doing barcodes. So when they go, when you go up to the register, they're scanning the shoe. So these were six bucks. This is Shoe Shop. I don't know which. I've seen Shoe Shop before. Um, I want to say it's just a regular fast fashion brand, but yeah. So I got those. So these. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Yes, God. These are, and I know. I think Giuseppe's enough. Giuseppe Zanotti made these, but these are some Steve Madden rope shoes. I don't, let me see if we can, so you can see the fabulosity of these. Now these have like scuff marks on one of the, yeah, it has like a little bit of right here. These were uh, $6 as well. And whew, I just love this. This is so sexy. This is a date night shoe. This is really a date night shoe. I'm going to do a um, thrifted sandal um, video because I watch a lot of haul videos and I'm trying to figure out, no, let me not say that. Excuse me. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? How do I say this? I watch a lot of haul videos and so I see a lot of women spending like they'll do a Zara haul video and it'll be like 10 pairs of Zara shoes and this is not the anniversary sale Zara this is like regular and so I'm thinking $490 or like because or no more than that because I'm thinking each shoe is like $49 but sometimes they're like a hundred dollars and so I'm like no we can't be in bondage to that so I'm gonna do a haul I'm gonna do a video a lookbook with my six dollar sandals <laughs> do that if they could do it I would do one too so I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do like a lookbook of just my feet because I think that'd be cute and you know these are all six bucks and so it'll inspire you to go thrifting and get you some six dollar shoes all right so now these oh these shoes that I just showed you are from Alapata so these now were from Coyote these are Pedro Garcia's these I actually had a had a pair of Pedro Garcia's um, that I got at Neiman Marcus last call years ago years ago and so I still have them um I'm these are my size these are 40 these were eight dollars in W so they were half off um white was half off so these are my size I'm a 40 40 and a half and so these are just a this is these this is the kind of shoe that I would wear to class these are definitely something you know I would love to say I'm this girl no, well, no, during the school year, I am not her. And so those are just a really cute shoe for me to wear while I'm running around, um, running around campus and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so Pedro Garcia's. Here's the inside again. There we go. All right. So the next shoe, no, no more shoes. I'm like my daughter, no more shoes. No more shoes, mommy. She's another one. She'll see she'll see stuff in my closet and be like, no, mommy. No more shoes. Mommy, no more. Like, girl, your dad's been working. Your dad is trying to work against me through you. So this is from Cayocho. This is a Zara dress. I adore this dress. I love the pattern mix. This does not look like Zara. I didn't think it was Zara. The only reason that I could say that it's Zara is that the stitching is not that great. And so I knew that it wasn't like a designer, but I, I mean, come on. If you have this shoe with this dress, seriously, or like a red pump or an orange pump, I love this. I, oh my gosh, if this was my size. This is totally my zhuzh right here. This is all Dion Dean. Oh, love this. So I got this, this is going up in Poshmark. Um, and I know some of you are going to my old Poshmark closet. I apologize for that. That is my Chicago closet. That is no longer, but I just have not closed it down. I haven't shut it down because I've been thrifting the city so long. So I didn't want to close it and then somebody pick it up. And then you guys be like, well, who's this? So the one that I'm using, the one that is active is Poshmark. It's 
at Dion D. So just look for friends at Dion D. Um, this dress, so I'm going to try this dress on for you. I pray that it fits. This is Boohoo. <laughs> you know, Boohoo is fast fashion. You don't know. It may fit, it may not. But I did the booby test. I did like the booby test. So it should fit. I may flash you a little bit of boobage, but this is a wrap animal print dress. And so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to look for yellow. I'm going to look for a primary color cardigan. So red, green, not well, primary or secondary color. So red, green, um, blue, a purple, just a very vibrant once again. See, this is why I'm got buying vibrant shoes because I want to wear it with stuff like this, like this this and a yellow cardigan come on now come on now all right so I'm trying let me try those two on for you um this is a Kate Spade dress now I'm going to be honest with you the Goodwill Cayocho I have not found a lot of design I haven't found I found no let me not say that because in any Goodwill, you can find some designer piece. But it's not somewhere that I would specifically go to for a designer. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, okay. So this is a Kate Spade dress. Beautiful. I think that the same person who bought this, who donated this, donated this. Because I feel like this is the same woman. So this is a size, let's see. So this is a size 6. And this is a size Mm, medium so I think that she donated both of these right same color scheme so yeah this is Kate Spade so this will be up on Poshmark this is going up on Posh I love these colors So yeah, so those two, I feel like somebody will bundle, I feel like somebody will bundle these. Whoever is going to look at this gonna, is going to look at this as well. That's what I think, because it looks like the same person, you know. Um, this would be perfect for like a, a thrift box. See, I'm always thinking. <laughs> My mind is always going. Um, oh, these you saw in the Calle Ocho, Calle Ocho, Calle Ocho. Um, you saw these in the Calle Ocho, Calle Ocho, I can't say it, Calle Ocho. Calle Ocho, 8th Street video. <laughs> I'm on one today, y'all. Can you tell? Um, so these, I actually have a pair of shoots in my um, shoe closet. I love them. I think they're such a sexy brand. And so you guys saw these in the video. I got these for five bucks, which is really good for this brand. If you guys are looking for that brand in the stores, that's what it looks like. And so remember, it's always want to see the engraving on the bottom now this is oh we're at the bottom so I got okay once again this is how my mind works okay let me put these away um this is how my mind works so I got these this dress Gaiocho, right so when I'm walking through the other store I'm like oh or I'm like, oh, I just got that dress. That's how I shop. Oh, yeah. That's how I shop. So, I mean, of course I'm going to get the blue shoe because it matches. So this is, oh, girl, style up. So it's a fast fashion brand. But it is just a floral. It's got a faux, faux turtleneck. It's like a very thin sweater dress. And so, am I going to put this on for you? Probably not, because it's going to need a girdle. <sighs> Maybe. I'll see how I feel. I just had a water, okay? So, I don't know how I'm feeling down to be. But I am going to go and try on this and this for you. So, let's go in the mirror. All right?
Hello, my darling. So here is the trapeze top. Who did I say this was? Romans. Um, and so I paired it with a pair of Victoria Beckham from Target pants or Victoria Beckham and Target collaboration pants. This is exactly the look that I wanted um, and the kind of colors that I was going for. I really wanted to pair this kind of neutral top with the vibrant pants because they would play off of each other. I'm going to, I have a green skirt. Let me show you what it's going to look like with the green skirt because you'll kind of get the idea as well. Um, but yes, you can always wear this with like plain black or plain khaki, but the pants really kind of bring out the pattern and the kind of the silhouette of the top. So let me go and put on a green skirt so that you can see how they both look, pants and skirt. All right, my darling. So I just literally pulled the skirt <laughs> out of the washing, not washing machine, out of the dryer doing laundry but this is the top with green and so I like it better with the pink <sighs> not even the silhouette not even just a pan I just like it better with the pink but I would definitely wear it with the green um, maybe a forest green instead of this kind of Kelly green Kelly green is my favorite color so I have a lot of Kelly green in my closet as well as royal blue but yeah here it is how do you like which one do you prefer the pink or the green for my AKAs, I know you're going to love both of them, right? But yeah, which one do you prefer, the pink or the green? All right, my darling. So this is the Boohoo dress. Remember when I said with Boohoo, it may not, it may fit, it may not. Ooh, I'm giving, I'm giving you all types of husband cleavage. So I'm going to give myself a good 10 more pounds before I release this dress into the universe because my husband's going to look at me and be like, um... Yeah, I don't know where you think you're going in that, but um, it fits. It's just, I, I think it's the way, it's not even tight. It's just the cut of the V. Sometimes when you buy a wrap dress, it's it's a little more forgiving. And other days, it's just like plunging neckline. But um, just so I feel comfortable, I will give myself a few more pounds. It's actually, it looks like it's high-low. It is high-low. But yeah, I like it. I actually would probably wear it like this and just put on a bold necklace to cover the girls. But my husband would not be a fan of that. So, um, yeah, let me sit back a little bit. So, yeah, so there's my haul. Hope you enjoyed it. I will be out in the streets later on this week and I will definitely take you with me. So, we never pay retail. Bye.